Hello, my beautiful co-creators. Uh, I'm uh, with Lilo here, and uh, this time I have microphone. No, she she doesn't have microphone. Do you have microphone? No, you don't. Uh, so you stole it. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. Sorry. <laughs> so uh, tell us because you're asking a lot of questions. So yeah. I think it's time to ask you or uh, her the question. So how you started that, and uh, what motivated you to to do this? To to interview people, even you don't have a background as a journalist, but I have. <laughs> but uh, you you did it, and you. You're doing that for many years, and I've been watching that, and it's really serious and it's really inspiring. Thank you. So, how it started? It started from uh, really just video blogging. I started with two friends, the 100 Day Challenge, and the 100 Day Challenge was all about for 100 days, following, um, setting up some intentions, and then doing video blogs. And I started video blogging on YouTube and sharing my insights and challenges about life. I started me meeting awesome people, and my start, my life started opening up, opening up, opening up more. Oh, yeah. And then I thought I want to share all of it. So then I started interviewing people and. And I don't know, just one thing led to the next. It's definitely not a perfect journey and none of our journeys are perfect. So I'm all about everyday inspiration from everyday people. And sometimes it's uh, New York Times bestsellers, but sometimes it's like this four and a half year old, awesome free hugger. Some other times it's just somebody that really dare to have the courage to step in their dream. And it's all about inspiration to me. I really don't have a big, huge plan. I just know I'm on a 12 months tour around the world and uh, and sharing the inspiration with as many people as possible over the web. And then that's that's what the GC tour is. And that's what I'm doing. So what's what's really motivates you? Because like this is um <laughs> uh, I know, like from the background, I know that uh, interviewing people is hard work and uh, it takes a lot of uh, time and you have to be prepared, yeah. you have to, uh, you know, really meet them so they have, they have to say yes. So what really motivates you yes. to doing that? Well, the, the, the process actually is very much speeding up because I don't go through a regular process like a journalist probably has learned how to do. I, I, I really, it's, it's through recommendations and then that person recommends me another person. So it's really, it really happens really fast and then I'm in contact with that person. Most of the time I didn't even speak with the interviewee before. Within, um, I, and, I, and I do some research, I probably prepare for 30 minutes, an hour maximum. Not too much because I want to come from a, a fresh perspective as everybody watching. Because we're, for, to me we're all in this juicy tour together. And so it, I want to be more coming from a place of not knowing and coming from an open mind as much as possible. Yet I do have some questions prepared and what seems quite spontaneous sometimes is actually quite quite a lot prepared because there is a sections and questions that I have in my mind but then I put the paper down yeah. and don't even look because otherwise your mind wants to read it and that's what I realized watching your interviews yeah. there is no questions there's no questions yet they're already there yeah. and what happens is that then they pop at the right time but they were already thought before and then they're placed and then there is always those spontaneous inspiring moments where the question just comes Most of the time I'm not saying it's very intuitive process. My intuition has gone up majorly and I'm not too sure what's guiding me. I really can only think of of, of the joy and having fun and of traveling. I love traveling and I love sharing like my life. I love sharing the insights and the challenges and the juiciness and hopefully that can inspire other people to want to pursue even bigger because we, we've seen, I've seen, you know, the changes in four years where I was at, even where I was at three months ago since I went to Hawaii, just uh, attracting Wayne Dyer was and him you know and just within 15 minutes there i was sitting next to him all that is pretty surreal and it's not very much the regular process we hear of in life mm -hmm. it's not what we learn at school or by the book so by being very spontaneous and by just following the flow and the spontaneity i meet great people like you like we're just doing some free hung events here in chicago and here we are Somebody just gave me a beautiful bracelet. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, this is the white like one, this. right? I had I had some of my books here, and I give it a, like it's like this flow, and one thing leads to the next, and how, and here we are. Serious question. <laughs> are you ready? So, where do you see yourself like in five, 
or 10 years? Yeah, that's way too far for me. I have no idea. Um, I Right now, I'm on a 12-month tour. I have another five months left. I do not, I know that I want to do another 12 months throughout Europe, but then I don't know things I really feel speed up in life, a change. I'm going through a huge healing process right now. Things, I, I, I really can barely recognize how much open-hearted I am and how much easier it is. Like this, I couldn't have done that. And people that have been watching for a long time, you know, I couldn't have been answering question like this with a crowd around for the longest time I did all the interviews over Skype I did them over the computer behind my computer with nobody watching and now here we are in the center of Chicago one of the busiest city I mean it's just it, it so how, how how can I know I feel something big I feel that yes there is so much juiciness and abundance something is happening some things feels really right here and I'm, I'm, I'm all about now, all my life I was pursuing things actively and now I'm all about letting things happen and unfold and letting go of the successes, letting go of my challenges. I, I'm just finding out that letting go of the successes is actually even bigger because now I'm not identifying myself anymore with some things that I thought made me successful or made me a good person or whatever. By completely removing that and being in this open space, who knows what tomorrow is about? So who are you to the world? Who is Lilo to the world, to the others? Who do you, what do you think? I don't know, I'm asking. You know. <laughs> I'm just I asking. No, I don't know. I, am, uh, I feel I'm... Uh, when I went through the Landmark Education years ago, which was one of the first seminars I took, uh, what came up is who I am is empowerment, freedom and joy for the world. And that's best that, you know... Um, that's that's what are you doing. That's what I'm doing and it's just happening. So whatever is an expression of that, whatever is an expression of love and of inspiration, then, then I'm there and, I, and we're all that. Mm -hmm. So that's my message where we can just step in that courageously into the unknown and as long as it feels good, we can't go really wrong. Okay, the last question because it was very serious right now. Uh, more funny. So tell us the most funniest story <laughs> during your travel interviews like so something funny happened really mm. and you you never shared about that so if you could tell over there yeah. what was that uh, the, the the most giggly moment I, I don't know if it was funny but to me it was funny it was just seeing dolphins making love I, and i was not i know this is not just <laughs> yeah such a little one oh my god <laughs> because i didn't realize but here they are the two dolphins like upside down I'm like this thing is upside down oh my god what is he doing and then all of a sudden I get closer and I was like that close from the dolphin and I see this black thing like just this little tiny black thing like going in between that I'm like oh my god they're making love and that was so cool that was the coolest thing and not um, kind of shocked because I had heard that dolphins were making love all the time and they were high vibrational being but I just I thought I was giggling like a little girl like finding out about love making it was just yeah. like so <laughs> funny so funny to me I know this is not the funniest story sorry I'm not a comedian <laughs> <laughs> all right thank you so much uh, for the interview and uh, stay tuned guys and watch Juicy Tour on the Juicy what? Living Tour <laughs>